Arthur and Natalie. It's our day off today on a Thursday. Oh, yeah. We're in the office just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so actually today I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys so we can help our patients out uh, with some information. So um, the main thing I want to talk about is um, candid clear aligners mm -hmm. because we have been uh, you know, talking about them with our patients, but I think uh, it helps to have kind of feedback from people who are actually in the process of doing yeah. it. Right. And both of you are actually doing them yeah. right now. Right now? Yeah. I'm going to zoom in on you now and when you smile so you can show what yours look like. <laughs> I don't think anybody can tell an artist. No, oh, yeah. like, oh, that's awesome. I don't think anybody <laughs> can tell that you guys have them on. Yeah. I remember when I first started, like, uh, I was talking with the list. Yeah. Like, I think the first too. couple days. Yeah. Um, and I remember my friends, like, they would hear me over a call. They'd be like, why do you sound, like, <laughs> why do you sound so weird? Uh, and I was like, oh, you know, it's just allergies or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but to be honest, I don't remember that you sounded that different Yeah, to I think, me. um, it was mainly my tongue, because I think my tongue kept, like, kind of scraping against, yeah. so, mm -hmm. not scraping, but, uh, like it, kept, it kept rubbing against like, the top of it, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So. Um, I appreciate you both um, agreeing to share your experiences with um, mm -hmm. everyone on here. Um, but let me just ask you a couple of questions and then we can go from there. Um, yeah. And then if you guys have any other feedback, you can give patients as well. Yeah. So Natalie first, um, what made you want to do um, your orthodontic treatment through um, candy tear aligners? So for me, it was more like a self-conscious thing in the beginning. Um, just because like I had kind of like a crooked smile and I noticed that my face would look like a little lopsided when I would smile so I was like oh like, you know maybe I can align my teeth but then like as I started getting into the dental field it was more of like a I noticed I had a traumatic bite and like you know at a young age my canines are already like grounded down so I wanted to prevent from that continuing right so um, for me it was at first aesthetically but now more of like a fixing my bite awesome i'm glad you're learning that <laughs> <laughs> all right arthur what about you what made you want to do the clear aligners um it originally started with the cosmetic because um the bottom of my teeth is a little bit of crowding so um the front teeth sort of like um are almost in front of each other mm -hmm. so it was almost it was mainly a cosmetic but then after my first exam uh, I learned that uh, my molars actually have a little bit of spacing in between and um, my bottom molars were actually tilted in a way that was pushing like food and debris into that area right. and then that would uh, just create safe space for bacteria to grow um, and I didn't realize that was because of the way my teeth were aligned. I thought, I thought it was only like those front teeth that were um, the problem, right. it was actually everything um, that needed help. Uh, so yeah. after that, especially getting those aligned, um, it's still like, uh, it's still getting there. But currently, I haven't had any pain, um, and like I used to get like probably like a toothache, like maybe like once a month. Right. Um, but now, like it has, it's been a couple months since I've had one. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely helped a lot. Yeah, for sure. So it's awesome to hear, like from a lay person's perspective, versus what we see from our side, because sometimes we are all gung ho about just the clinical aspects oh, yeah. of what right. we are seeing. Um, whereas most of the patients they come in because they are you know wanting the aesthetic aspect and that's mm. what's more important or urgent to them whereas all we just go in and jump into oh we want you know this to be not less traumatic yeah. and uh, I mean that is my ultimate goal as a dentist is that we are doing this treatment to have long-term st stability for their mm. bite less tra a trauma to their teeth and supporting structures and their joints um, right. their TMJ but also making sure that you know this um, is something that is makes the patient feel like this is the beautiful smile and they're confident about it mm -hmm. and you know that, and we want to not neglect that um, yeah. last aspect as yeah. well mm -hmm. all right one more thing um, so you are, Natalie, how far are you along in your treatment right now? So I actually just moved up yesterday to my eighth aligner. So, <laughs> um, I, I have 11 steps in total, so only three more to go. That's and awesome. I feel like it's gone by so quickly. Yeah. Like I started, um, I think at the end of February, yeah. and already like my teeth have moved so much. That's so, amazing to yeah. see. What do you like about them? 
Um, I just like that no one notices mm-hmm. them. And right. like, I'm like always smiling, but no one like, when I tell them like, oh, I gotta take off my braces. And then they're like, what? Like, <laughs> I didn't even know you were wearing anything. I'm like, yeah. And it's just like, you know, you get compliments on your smile. People think that's your smile, mm-hmm. but because they, they can't tell that you're not wearing, right. or that you are wearing something in there, right? Yeah. Arthur, what about you? How far are you along? Uh, I think I'm on my fourth or fifth tray. Uh, I'll have to double check the app. Um, <laughs> just because it does, it does keep reminding you of yeah. when you're going to do it. Um, but I think my whole, my whole treatment is about five months, if I, I believe. Right. Uh, so right now, I'm, uh, I think I'm around two or three months. Yeah. Uh, it should be about two months, I think. Yeah. Um, so I only have seven trays. Uh, so less than hers because, mm. you know, mine's a little better. <laughs> So I only have, I think I also have around like uh, three more to go. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, I really do enjoy it. So So what do you specifically like about the can- candy to your liner um, system? I really like the convenience, uh, just because I don't have to keep going into my orthodontist to, uh, to double check to make sure I can move up to the next step. Right. Um, a lot of it can be done like at my house. Um, and they constantly keep reminding me to either like, oh, like your, your scan's coming up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Or like maybe you missed your scan, make sure you get your scan in. Right. Um, and it's really easy to use. I was a little worried. I don't want people to like, know how to figure it out. Um, but it's, it's really easy to use. So, so um, can you talk a little bit about the app that you're talking about? Because I yeah. don't think patients are aware of the remote m- uh, monitoring app that Candid has. Yeah, so Candid has an app through your phone. Um, and it basically monitors what step you are in and uh, I guess how often you need to switch your aligners. Right. So since I have seven steps, um, I have to change my aligners every two weeks. Uh, which I think I think is coming up I think next week. Okay. Um, but yeah, so every two weeks they'll remind you, hey, make sure you scan. Um, mm-hmm. And you're, uh, when you get your clear liners, it will come with like a scanner, right. um, not a scanner, an attachment to your phone. And then uh, you scan with your phone, and then it sends it out to an orthodontist, and they double check to make sure that uh, okay. that you're progressing okay. properly. Yeah. yeah, and I think what's also convenient about that is like. It, it gives you a report of everything that they're seeing. So like if you need to work on your hygiene, you know, better flossing and brushing, it tells you that. And I think that's like yeah. so good because yeah. it's like they're telling you what you're doing yeah. wrong and what you're doing right. Well, so. they, they keep telling you to fix my hygiene, but I brush and floss. That means that you need to talk to Meg about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to get Meg in here so she can help you with this. Um, so from my perspective, like my son doing the app, mm-hmm. he he didn't even need my help to be honest to uh, yeah. set it up on his phone and to start using it. But um, what it uh, has done is also like he loves the aspect where he has this little animation of how the ch- uh, smile is changing, yeah, yeah and he, the dramatic changes that happen, and he loves uh, you know playing that, and it's like look look how much it's changing. Yeah, so I like. I'll come in one day she and like I show Arthur every time. I'll like play him my before and after video, but it's like you can see, especially like my midline has shifted so much right. into like a new one, yeah. and you can tell like how my teeth have been brought down because, like I said, it was like a crooked smile before right. where it was slanted, right. and like just watching that video of how my teeth have moved is just like I, I like watching it. Yeah, that's me, awesome. Like, <laughs> All right, as a final thing, what advice would you have for patients considering clear braces? Um, I think it's like, do it. Like, don't hold back on it, because the sooner you start, the more you get to enjoy it, right? But it's just like something that will benefit you, and it looks good, so do it. All right, <laughs> what about you, Arthur? Uh, I'll also say a few things. One, sort of piggybacking on what Ali said, um, treatments take like, up, like upwards to like 11 months. So the sooner you begin, like that 11 months will go by really quickly. Like I, mine was, I think five months. So I, like, it's, it feels like it's been like, like a month completely. Yeah. Like, it's been like two or three months now. Right. Um, the second thing is, uh, when you do start, um, you're going to want to feel like you want to like bite on, like chew things. And so, um, I found that sort of clenching my teeth and like sort of like chewing on like kind of like nothing, I guess, um, it really helped, um, sort of like. I don't know how to describe it, like, my teeth felt itchy almost. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it actually helps because yeah. you, when you're chewing down, you're kind of helping with remodeling the bone mm-hmm. around the roots and actually helping the teeth move. So um, that that is kind of a good thing when yeah. you are biting yeah. and chewing. Yeah. In myself. fact, your kid does have something called chewies to help yeah, suit the, the liners in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, like, 
I'm reminded of like teething when I was a kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your little baby teething, baby teething, teething yeah. again. <laughs> like, I'm like that, like, that, like arm on a chair looks kind of. <laughs> like, like, so. All right, don't go knowing on the <laughs> furniture. <laughs> I won't do more, so. All right, thank you.